here on Stadium Court, which is a big court for volleyball, but you were on a much bigger court Wednesday night. Wednesday night, I had the incredible fortune of being selected as the R1 or first referee in the world record breaking match at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, hosting University of Nebraska Omaha in Memorial Stadium. How did that feel to get that assignment? Uh, I received the initial request or offer of assignment in uh, March, I believe it was. And I got a text from my assigner and she said, would you be interested? And I had to retype it like three times not to uh, use expletives in explaining how excited I was to have the honor of taking that match, yes. And knowing back in March that you're doing a match months later yeah. how did that uh deal, how did you deal with that anticipation and incitement was it was it good that you had that much time to prepare or i think it was it also helped uh, us prepare big picture for some of the nuances that that outdoor match outdoor indoor match would happen and so we were able to really think through what if scenarios and what would we do and why about this and uh, just some some broader picture things we had lots of meetings with meteorologists and with security and with medical and uh, NCAA rules committee and things like that. And then there were some, were there some special concessions made to playing an indoor match outside? Uh, with... Technically no. In order for the record to count, we had to keep the rules the same. We couldn't use switch on sevens like we do out here on the beach. Uh, but the only real concession that they made was they allowed players to wear sunglasses if they wanted to. They allowed uh, referees to wear sunglasses, hats. We even got to wear shorts in the first match. And for player safety, we had a 10 minute intermission between sets two and three versus a traditional five minute intermission. We wanted to make sure those players had enough time to recover from any elements. And I know you're focused on your job, but what was the environment like for you? The environment was amazing. I tried to prepare myself mentally for what this might be like. And I, I even talked to our crew, the referees before the match, and I said, okay, what I'm doing is I'm gonna enjoy the scene until we do the coin toss 30 minutes prior to the match. I'm gonna take in the, the sights, the vibe, the atmosphere, and then at 30 minutes when we have the coin toss, that's when my focus goes just to the court, just to the playing surface, and then it's all about the match. And, and that worked for me. I think it worked for the crew. We were able to appreciate the environment we were in. I will say, counter to that, when they did the announcements and we had to fly over in the national anthem, I did get a little teary, certainly had uh, lots of uh, goosebumps on my arms. Uh, so we certainly expanded that view for that and like when people would do the wave and timeouts and stuff, but but was able to sort of really keep that focus on the court during play. So you noticed the Jets. I noticed <laughs> the Jets, yes, exactly. And how was it officiating the match that once you locked in, did it just feel like any other match or was it still hard to keep the focus? Um, it was points? easy to keep the focus, but there were some things that were a little bit different. The benches were so far away and the substitutes were coming from so far away we did a lot of pre-match about how as the first referee I would communicate to my second referee when I saw subs coming because if not he was gonna have to like an owl turning his head all the way around to be able to scan so some things were a little bit different just from our perspective but it's a volleyball game once you get started once once my arm does this and I blow the whistle they're playing volleyball do yeah. you have any advice for volleyball fans or former players who would like to get into officiating oh absolutely you know uh, Next time you're at the ABP or at an indoor match and it's appropriate, come introduce yourself to us. We're always looking for referees. Even if you just have a, a rules question, you, you, understand, you don't understand why we whistle something or don't whistle something, just come ask. We love to share our knowledge and share this game that we love. And so just come introduce yourself and we'd love to have you join us.